Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. You're watching Fear Fanatics. Scary videos from the web. Leave a comment for more videos like this one. Number 5. Camping is a great way to get out and enjoy nature, unless you're alone and start to hear strange noises. YouTuber Austin Armstrong is doing a solo camp in Indiana at Patoka Lake. He seems to be the only camper there, or so he thinks. Um, I just went out in the middle of nowhere uh, at this campground uh, at Patoka Lake in Indiana. I'm the only one out here, obviously. It's kind of cold and it's projected to get colder and it's raining. Here's my little site right there. There's nobody here. Which is good. That's what I was looking for. Just kind of getting away from everything. And like I said, you know, I'm over here by myself, you know, like just chilling. It's not too bad, you know. Don't be afraid to go out and do these things by yourself. Of course, it's always nice to have friends and stuff too, but yeah, it's not so bad. All right, as you can see, it's uh, getting dark. Um, fire is pretty consistent now. It hasn't been raining for about, uh, I'd say it's been, it's been about two hours now since it stopped raining. Uh, I still need to find more wood, so I have my headlamp. So, I just need to keep it going, you know? Uh, at least till I go to bed, which probably won't be anytime soon. Okay, you can kind of see that light right there? So that's an outhouse. So, if I follow this light where my light's going here, there's a former campfire that was over here. Austin is on his way to another campsite by the outhouse to look for wood when he hears a loud noise over by his own camp. Um, so it was mostly wet. What the? I don't know if you guys just heard that, but like, something literally just went boom over there. Holy crap. I gotta go check it out. I don't see anything. Hello? I'm trying to find a rational explanation too. Like, maybe it was the wood. But I don't... It doesn't look any different than when I left. And I don't think that this would make that kind of sound. What was that? Still don't know what the big boom thing was. I've been keeping the music on my uh, phone going. Keeps my mind off of it. My phone's dying. So that sucks. Uh, without the phone, there's no music, which means I have to listen to everything around me. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm sure I'll figure out something. I'll probably just turn the van on and uh, charge it there for a little bit. Update. I found out what that crash was earlier. So I put the, the sign had fallen down in the middle of the road that said like, uh, safe area, no dogs, no weapons. And I look over whenever I like went out to go to the bathroom or something. Uh, and it was laying on the ground. There's nothing to be freaked out about at all. Actually, there's a lot to be freaked out about. But that crash was not one of them. I'm excited that that was only the sign falling over because of the wind and not an alternative thing. It's almost 1 a.m. And I bagged out of the tent because it's pouring and I got paranoid as hell. I'm not going to lie. It's freaky out here by yourself. I'm not going to lie. It's true. Um, but that's okay. I'm warming up this uh, the vehicle here. Kind of charging my phone just in case I need to like contact anything. I just figured I would be uh, safer and warmer and better off in this van than in a tent. Did the sign fall from the wind? Are you sure? Better safe than sorry, Austin. Number four. It's 4.30 a.m. on a cold winter night and solo female van dweller from YouTube channel Asleep Five Decades is awakened by a strange man knocking on her van. Her van is actually frozen to the ground in the snow and there's no way for her to drive off. Sounds like the beginning to a great horror movie. Somebody's back here again. But this is real life. I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? 
It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? It's now 4.57, but at 4.37, so like 20 minutes ago, um, I was in a dead sleep and I was woken from um, a knock like right where my head is, ironically. So I was like frozen. Um, I looked at the time and it was very strange to me, like who would be knocking on the van at 4.30 in the morning. So by the second knock, I believe it was second, could be the third knock, and they would knock three times every time. I just mustered, hello? And no answer. So I just kind of like went back to sleep, lied back down, went back to bed, I should say. Well, 15 minutes later, I hear it again, like a knock on my the, the side of my van again. How can I help you? And they say, I got a question for you. And I said, it's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. And uh, so I quietly got up and I went to the front and I peeked out and parked way up at the, on the drive. All I could see is like headlights and then they backed out Car and went to and left. Footprints. It's Somebody was just here again, three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. I seen them walking and they hid behind the, the, uh, the tree there. And then they went to um, a car, the same car that was here earlier. Well, that was back and then it backed away and left again. Three times in one night. This time, um, they didn't knock though. They were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. The man came knocking two times and the third time he was walking around her van. She could hear his footsteps outside. The next morning she goes out to see the man's footprints in the snow. So I come out this morning and you can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. See? These are like literally Prints. I never go there. If I, I collect my snow, I go right on this path and I cross over here and that's my spot right there. But look, they were actually, there's some more, look at that. They came here, they were standing here. I certainly don't want to be put in a situation where I have to use force, like where I have to, if somebody tried to break in my van, well, they would probably be the one getting hurt because I've got many, many ways of protecting myself and believe me, I would um, do what I have to do to um, defend myself. So I feel like I'm being watched and I just got to be a little bit more careful. You better keep those doors locked. Number three. Work Less, Enjoy Life More is a YouTuber who's on a solo overnight camping trip. According to his post, the description reads, In the deep woods approximately 12 miles south of Williams, Arizona, a solo RV boondocker hears a woman screaming for help late at night outside of his RV. Hello?
Do you need help? Upon searching for the source of the yelling, he spots a man hiding in the trees watching him. want after barricading himself inside of his camper the creepy man is determined to get inside the rv so he crawls under the floor of the camper to get inside The camper grabs his gun and heads back out into the night to see if the man is still around. This video was a prank on his viewers, but there are crazy people in the world, so be aware of the dangers while camping alone. Number 2 An Australian YouTuber from channel Field Days was told by his friend about a haunted cave in the middle of nowhere. So he challenged himself to do an overnight solo camp inside the cave. This is the cave which we are going to call home until it's morning. So once I go in, we are not coming back out of this cave until the sun comes up tomorrow morning. And um, if there is weird ghost activities or something like that, I'm gonna push myself to the limit to stay in this cave as long as I possibly can until something like physically hurts me, touches me, and then I'm crawling my ass out of there. But this is it. This is the entrance to the bedroom for the night. And um, it is not what I expected. Something uses this hole. Looks like it's a pretty well used. I can't see any paw prints. I can't see footprints. But something has made that hole. Wonder what's gonna be crawling around here tonight because that is definitely something. There's a lot of these little holes like that all over the place. I think there might be another one up here. It's currently 8.36 at night. Two noises which I've heard which completely the, fe the second noise, I had goosebumps from my head to toes. I'm talking a sound I've never heard it before in my entire life. It's, it had to have been a bat, it had to be something, but it's just not, it's just something I've never heard before. Very strange sound. The first one was a rock falling way over there somewhere. There was a rock which it just sort of like, it just rolled for ages and then it sort of just hit, hit another rock on the bottom. But the second sound, I froze, man. I was like frozen, like I couldn't move. I was just waiting for something just to like whack me. Oh, it's just strange, very strange feeling in here. But when my mate said he's being watched, I'm feeling that feeling. I, I am 100% feeling uneasy in this cave right now. It is 11, 14 at night. We're nearly at midnight. One crazy thing is it's a full moon tonight as well. So. All of the weird things are in our favor. I did have a spoon for my, for my baked beans, but the spoon is gone. So we're just gonna drink it out of the can. It's still gonna be delicious as always. Then he starts to hear strange noises mm. and wonders 
if this was a good idea. That is beautiful. Baked beans in a haunted cave. At this point, he seems to be frozen in fear. Oh my fucking God. The chain ladder makes a very loud noise when you're climbing down. That was the sound. It would be terrifying if you heard that while you're all alone in the dark. That is the sound. Did you hear that? Look at my, look at my arms. I got full goosebumps. It's the chains moving when I climb down the ladder. It's a big, heavy, thick chain. Wind can't move that. I pray, I really hope you guys heard that chain move just then. It is 100% now. I heard it before. I'm 100% certain it's the chain that I walked in that you climbed down into this cave on. It's moving. Now, you can't move that chain with wind. It's way too heavy. There is no wind coming in here. There's no wind in here. Then he hears what sounds like falling rocks. Holy Maybe shit. from someone walking. Or the thing in the hole. Well, you must have heard that just then. Look at my arms, dude. Oh, this Holy shit. That's not no that's not normal, dude. Well, I'm freaking out. He's starting to get very concerned now. There's only one way out, and that's back up the chain ladder. That's that chain. That chain's moving. The only thing it can be, like this is a public cave. People can come in this cave. The thing that's strange, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Why would anyone come in here? It's the third time it's happened now. And it's, I'm, all, I'm almost about, about to abort mission. But I've got the only way up is that chain. Uh, I've been, it's probably about two hours, two and a half hours after I checked in with you guys. So it would be around two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. And that sound was not normal. He decides to leave around um, 2 a.m. I'm getting out of here. I'm, I, uh, the bats can listen to this. Just listen for two seconds. I'm not too sure if you guys are going to be able to see the bats flying around, but they're really flying around here. They are active for some reason. And I just heard a sound that I've never heard before. I'm probably freaking out. I'm just being a pussy, but look, it's, <laughs> It's not normal. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what normal is in a cave, but that sound was super freaky. And you're trying to tell me that this big ladder, something has to move this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to go. I don't want to leave this cave. I want to stay here and do the whole night, but that noise was just, just, just scary. Okay, I'm going to make a decision to stay in here for the whole entire night. If I quit now, I'm going to be pissed off at myself. I, I will be really angry. So I'm gonna stay here. I'm just freaking out a little bit because of just, the, I don't know, just because my mate, what he said, and then the sounds and the chain wiggling doesn't make any sense to me at all. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not saying it's a ghost or anything. I don't, I don't really believe in that stuff, but it just scared the absolute heebie-jeebies out of me. So can't see anything, but it just doesn't sound right at all. It's coming from up there somewhere. Hey, he made it through the night, but he says he'll never go back into that cave again. Number one, it's Halloween night and YouTuber Ads Ventures is taking his van out to do a solo overnight next to a creepy cemetery so he can do some ghost hunting. But ghosts are the least of his worries tonight. Let's hear why this cemetery is so haunted. But apparently the uh, vicar, or whoever it was that used to live in the little churchyard next to the cemetery, started going insane because of all the ghosts that he saw. And the story goes that one night he walked out into the woods and shot himself. So now I guess the woods are doubly haunted with the vicar and the existing ghosts. I mean, what more could you want for a spooky Halloween night? Mm, sounds like the perfect evening. I've got a bit of a problem. I cannot see a thing with this light shining in my eyes. So this is coming into the woods now. And on the left is the little church house. And behind that is the cemetery. 
And to be honest with you, I'm just sort of winging it. I don't know where, what the hell was that? It might have been what was reflecting that light. It says, if you find this card, please pay it forward to do something kind today. There are a lot of noises in these woods, but at the same time, if I was in the woods on a normal night, I'd just think it's normal. It's only because I'm thinking I'm on a ghost hunt, so every little noise, I'm like, is that a ghost? Maybe what he's hearing Maybe isn't a ghost at all. It's Maybe fine. something much worse, like an actual person in the woods. I'm starting to get a little bit lost, I'm not going to lie. But I think I'm going to head back towards the way that I came, because... Are his eyes playing tricks on him? Or did he just see someone up ahead on the trail? I swear, I keep seeing someone. Hold on. There's no one there. I swear. There was. I think I'm gonna go this way, to be honest with you. The hell? That is a person. I'm not even joking. What the f I can't see anything. I watched this video a few times and the person is definitely moving. He's wearing all black and a white Halloween mask. But why is he lurking around a cemetery in a mask? I think I would run too. Number one, that was somebody playing a prank, a Halloween prank or whatever. And if that's the case, fair play, they got me good. The next time you decide to go ghost hunting in a cemetery on Halloween night, take a friend with you. Please help the channel grow by subscribing. You can also be a huge help by liking the video and commenting. If you like these videos, visit our channel to browse other content and hit the notification bell to get notified every week when we upload a new video. Until next time, sweet dreams and happy nightmares.